And here's our scare owl mounted on our fence. And it's got the 3D eyes put in there with just a little bit of wire. And as you walk back and forth, hopefully it gives the impression that the, the owl is, is looking at you and following you. Hopefully it gives a little extra scare factor for the squirrels and crows. Okay, so we're going to be making this cutout owl, and I've taken a drawing uh, from a couple different uh, clip art images on the web. I've kind of conglomerated them together, uh, drew a grid on my SketchUp, and then upscaled that from one centimeter on the on the piece of paper to eight centimeters on this board. So that makes it about 48 centimeters across, 104 centimeters high. And that allows me to kind of transfer that image that I sketched on the piece of paper over to this board. And so now that we've got it all marked up, um, I've got the places I'm going to cut out and we're going to use the jigsaw to cut out. Alright, so there's our rough outline. We're going to take this to the drill press and drill some pilot holes so we can get started cutting out the eyes, beak, and feet. So here we are with our owl all cut out, hopefully to squirrels and crows. This is terrifying. Uh, we're going to sand and kind of file off some of the rough edges. And we're going to be painting it black. Now one last thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of these scrap pieces of wood. We're going to kind of cut them more into round shape of eyes. And we're going to mount them with wire behind the eye gaps here. And when you mount that behind that, that gives it a little 3D perspective that as you move and are looking at this cutout, not quite sure if it's real or if it's an owl, it'll make it look like the eyes are following you. So hopefully an extra bit of terror for the squirrels and our other raiders of our garden. So there we go, let's get to that. After we've sanded the owl, uh, sanded the edges, kind of cleaned that up, we're out at our spray painting stump. It's a little bit farther away from the house. Uh, we're going to use just the cheapest black spray paint to kind of make this look a little bit more ominous. Um, you know, uh, this exterior um, grade wood, don't need to be touched up every year or two anyway, uh, just to keep it fresh and kind of keep the water from absorbing in. and make it look like wood. So uh, let's get started. And here's our scare owl mounted on our fence. And it's got the 3D eyes put in there with just a little bit of wire. And as you walk back and forth, hopefully it gives the impression that the, the owl is, is looking at you and following you. Hopefully it gives a little extra scare factor for the squirrels and crows. 
So there we go. We'll see how that works and we'll catch you next time.